The Philippines bears the burden of climate change. This is the message of President Benigno Aquino III as he addresses the UN Climate Summit here in New York, the largest gathering of world leaders on the issue. Aquino calls on the international community to give the Philippines funds and technology to help it pursue clean growth while adapting to extreme weather events like Super Typhoon Haiyan. The president does not make any new commitments but highlights his government's efforts in disaster response and resilience. As early as 2008, we have passed a Renewable Energy Act and we are now threading a climate smart development pathway. We continue to take steps to maintain and even improve our low emission development strategy and the trajectory of our energy mix. And we are hopeful that our fellow developing nations, especially those who have been gaining the economic wherewithal to pursue similar strategies, will tread the path akin to ours. Environmental groups criticize Aquino for a supposedly misleading speech. They say instead of investing in renewable energy, his government approved 40 coal plants in the pipeline. U.S. President Barack Obama also addresses the summit, acknowledging the responsibility of the world's largest economy and second biggest greenhouse gas emitter. But Obama says both developing and developed nations must act. But let me be honest, none of this is without controversy. In each of our countries, there are interests that will be resistant to action. And in each country, there is a suspicion that if we act and other countries don't, that we will be at an economic disadvantage. But we have to lead. That is what the United Nations and this General Assembly is about. After this summit, it's crucial to see whether or not the commitments are reflected in a draft agreement in Lima in 2014 and in the final deal in Paris in 2015. For vulnerable countries like the Philippines, climate change is not just a topic of negotiations and talks like this one, but also a matter of survival. Ayi Makraig, Rappler, United Nations.